Hey guys, about to play round two in this Magic Origins draft. Um, hmm. I think I keep this. Maybe a little risky. Uh, but we do have a way to interact with him early, and then we have an Aeronaut, who's fine. Um, and we're bound to draw more, so yeah, I think I keep. It's not the best hand, it's like a C minus hand, but. Oof. <laughs> But it is seven cards. But yeah, if we keep drawing lands, we're we're gonna be toast, toasted. All right, and we're on our way to just drawing lands. <laughs> May have been worth the mulligan. It was a hard decision. So we just take two here. I mean, if he tries to do something that we can get a two for one on, well, it's not a real two for one, but if we can get rid of an aura or whatever. Then I'd be pretty happy. Um, actually, I'm probably just going to disperse that. Okay, getting some more action, getting some late game plays anyway. Go down to 16. Zendikar Incarnate, that is not good news. Especially not with that draw. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should not have kept the five lander. Oh, God. Dang. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty aggressive. I wouldn't usually mainboard that card, but uh, clearly it worked for him there. Uh, shoot. I think we just chump so that we only go to 10. And then if we're lucky, our patron will be able to trade with that if we're lucky. Um, yeah, we, this, this one may be over in a hurry. Because <laughs> trading isn't with our patron isn't, isn't exactly what we want, especially when we have four lands in our hand. Six drop. Fastwood Gorger. Oh no, he's got the X Burn spell. Yeah, that's GG. <laughs> oh, that was a fast game one, everybody. On to game two. All right. That was a beating. Um. Yeah, Hydro Lash, I guess. Maybe we want that. If it can maybe help us get to the late game. Or calculated dismissal. Something to do earlier, but... Yeah, maybe calculated dismissal is what we want. And we cut, like, a, another aspiring arrow knot. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Being able to counter that huge removal spell, for example, would be nice. Yeah, that took less than four minutes. The first game, the opponent just destroyed us. This is a much better hand, so that's good. Probably play Hanger Backwalker in turn two since I don't have anything else to do. Uh, but we do have a pretty good curve out, uh, which is harder to do in this deck than most. We have turn two, turn three, turn four. Um, so yeah. And we'll get an island with our Evolving Wilds at the end of his turn. We'll just do it now, actually. Island. Ooh, Patient of the Valiant plus. Um, yeah, so we'll play our Hanger Back Walker. Leaf Gilder. Do I want to attack into that? I don't know. It seems okay, actually. I'm okay with that. 
we get a Thopter token and we kill the thing, so... Yeah. Value. I mean, it's not, you know, as flashy as it could be with that card, but... It does slow him down some, um, and it sets him up for losing whatever he's plays to our Separatist Void Mage next turn, and then Patron of the Valiant will be on the table before too long. And a Disperse will help out our game plan as well. Um, I think I'm actually just going to swing here. Um, really kind of doubt he takes it. I mean, I, I, don't, I doubt he blocks is what I mean to say. Yeah. Um, do I want to play the Void Mage? I think I do. So yeah, we'll hit him for that. And we'll play the Void Mage. Where was he last game, huh? And we'll end the turn. Plays the same guy out, which is fine with me. Uh, we swing with everything. He's actually thinking about blocking, I guess. He might have Might of the Masses, I guess. Okay, well, in that case, we use Disperse this turn. Blink his spell. Still hit him for five. It does make it so we can't play our Patron of the Valiant. Actually, I should have hit him for one more. <clears throat> it does make it so we can't play our Patron for another turn, but it's no big deal. Bargar Brute again. He just keeps coming. Hmm. It's a good draw. So we swing at everybody again. All right. I'm okay with that as a trade. Take him down to nine. Oh. Not a trade. Okay. It is a... Um, we can only make him have four power, and that's not enough. So yeah, we lose our dude. Um, but then we're going to play our big patron. We have claustrophobia in our hand, too. What is this? All right, something to be claustrophobia. It can still burn us every turn, which is pretty annoying. Looking pretty good for this game. Um, he may have a big removal spell in his hand, though. But we go Claustrophobia. And we got to play our game in this one, the Tempo game, where we just keep rolling. Is there a reason for me to play my Maritime Guard? I don't really think there is. Um, I'm going to play an island and hold on to the Maritime Guard for now. Well, I, I guess if he played like a flying blocker, it can help me force through lethal. Yeah, let's play the guard. What the hell? Definitely makes him worry a little less about what's in our hand, but... Okay, we got game two. That was a fast game two as well, so this round... Already definitely on track to be much faster than round one. Um, yeah, we'll leave Calculated Dismissal in there, I think. Artificer's Epiphany is actually better than I was thinking. I forgot we had the three Thopter dudes. Negate's also not bad, but I think we just run this back out there. Everyone else is already done, it looks like. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh no, I guess they're not done. Only one person's done. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. And we thought our round one was fast. 
three minutes and five minutes. Pretty fast, but not that fast. All right, I think our opponent's changing up his sideboard plan. Uh, he may not have... He didn't see much out of us in game one. Oh, wait, it looks like it's about to go. Yeah. He did sideboard something uh, now that he saw more of our deck. Ugh. Mulligan. Much better. <laughs> this is a very annoying hand for our opponent, um, but it's only good if we can draw into some gas, uh, into some creatures, you know. And there's one. Um, kind of inclined to still grab an island. I mean, uh, to grab a plains, uh, because chances are pretty good we draw, or better that we draw an island. So I think I probably will. And we already have, we have a creature with double casting costs in our hands, so. All right, so sack our evolving wilds. We'll get a plains. See, and there's the island. I knew it. All right, so we got a similar game plan to last time. Lots of bouncing. Ooh, that's not nearly as useful to bounce. Um, not not good at all to bounce actually. We could kill the token, but that doesn't seem very good right now. Um, Okay, we do have a claustrophobia now. We still can't really do anything. We just end our turn. Take three here. Like, if you tried to use Might of the Masses or something on the token, I'd go with Disperse. But we'll just take three. And I probably will play the Void Mage to try to get rid of, to bounce the Thopter. Let's see what he plays. I may just Disperse. Should I Disperse that? Or Separatist Void Mage, that. Yeah, I think I'll probably just play our Separatist Void Mage on that and bounce it. So we bounce the Leaf Gilder. You can trade with the Gear Crafter now, too. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, fiery conclusion, maybe? Yeah, well, that sucks. Uh, the trigger's still on the stack, though, so the dude still gets bounced. So <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. Um, so I'm okay with that. Got a one and a half for one there. Should have printed a twin bolt in this format just for dealing with gear per gear crafter and his doctor friends. If we draw a fifth land, we just play our patron. If we don't, um, well, we drew another freaking void mage. Um, kind of actually want to play Screeching Scob and just hold up Disperse, but now nah, we're just going to play another Void Mage because we're jerks. Then once he plays whatever big creature he wants to play, we have Claustrophobia for it. So, but in the meantime, we can just keep pushing him back. Okay, looks like he's playing something big now. Yeah, Claustrophobia and Disperse will both be nice there. Um, I think I'll trade. And now we, I think we just play another one. We just play Void Mage again <laughs> and bounce to that guy. It'd be nice if we could get our fifth land, then we could really push our, pull ourselves ahead. Yeah, he's, <laughs> I knew it was gonna. It was an annoying hand, certainly, and we still have one dispersed to go. All right. Okay. So now we go claustrophobia. And we get in for two. Finally, doing some damage here.
All right, Leaf Gilder. This time it can stick around, you know, I'll let it. Um, and I'll even offer a trade. All right, so that's all the Separatist Void Mages. <laughs> But now we play our big guy. Who has a brother in her hand. Leaf Gilder. So he's got all the Leaf Gilders and we have all the Separatist Void Mages, basically. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I think I kind of want to hold off on playing the Tactician until I can go like really wide. Which looks pretty possible given what's in her hand. Um... I think we go uh, Maritime Guard, we can block a Leaf Gilder like nothing, and then Screeching Scob. We had an Island and a Suppression Bond, which Suppression Bonds is not ideal. It's one of our few hard removal spells in addition to all of our bounce. Call of the Full Moon, huh? Well, we did not leave mana up for Disperse, that's for sure. <laughs> so we're just going to take... We're just going to take a... We could double block and kill it and get a two for two, I guess. But I think I'm just going to take five. Well, that slows, down, it slows us down a little bit. Um... Because I want to keep Disperse up now. Although I could just play two spells. I can't play two spells, though. So, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, good. I didn't have lethal anyway, so. I could just play another Angel here. Um, I think I'd rather just use Disperse, though. Ooh, even if, especially if he's going to do something like that. Now we get a, well, a two for one, plus bounce it to his hand. Gear crafter. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, so I think we play our tactician. Pump everybody. Make all his blocks bad. So we have 5, 7, 10. So we have lethal, so he's going to have to block at least one thing. I'm a little worried he might have a trick, though. But we do have something to block the gear crafter, at least. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I can now trade with my, this guy. And that can trade here. Yeah, so he goes to five. Down to one card in his hand and one dude on the field, though. And we still have two dudes and two big flyers in our hand. Leaf Gilder. Yeah, he got all of them, didn't he? And that might be one I bounced. It was one I bounced, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Well. His hand's empty now. Um, and we have another one of these guys. Um, and I'm going to swing for one so we have lethal on the table. I probably should have done that first. So he's got a block here, or lethal, yeah. I mean, it's still lethal now if he doesn't play a blocker or a removal spell, so. I 
All right, we got it. We got run over in game one, but got it done in game two and three. Separatist Void Mage has definitely been the MVP of our deck so far. <laughs> we got all three of them in that game and, and two Patrons of the Valiant, which was good. So we're on to round three for another shot at 3-0. and o. Uh, 3 0 in last week's, and maybe I can do it again today. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for round three.